Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, I'm going to explain how to synchronize your Mailchimp account with WooCommerce store, right? So if you have a WooCommerce store and then you want to synchronize your data, if you have customers going through your store, right? And then you want to generate list to send a campaigns to your customers or automations, right? So that is the way. So in here i already explained how to create an account in mailship right now we're going to access to your account so if you go to view dashboard in that section what we're going to do is set up the connect to your account right so here connect to your account in that case we're going to use woocommerce right and then we go going down here and say connect WooCommerce and we automatically synchronize your customer and all the data to Mailchimp, right? So connect a new site. So that is the plugin. A plugin is a small app or tool, right? That connects Mailchimp with WooCommerce, right? So as you can see here, you just free download and download this or you can access to your dashboard i'll show you how to do it in a bit right and, down, and install it from there so as you can see here you just go proceed to the checkout if you have an account if it's not you just fill up the form right and it will be free of cost right and then you can now i'll show you how to do that install it in uh, wordpress right so we're going to your wordpress site right you access to your admin account and then here on the back end okay so here in your dashboard right we're going to the section and say plugins here in plugins you can add new right and then if you download this plugin you just go here upload plugin and then you can attach or upload the plugin that you already download from from the checkout from woocommerce right otherwise what you can do if you go here plugins add new you can search for this plugin it's called mailchimp right so let's gonna say mailchimp uh, woocommerce right and most likely it will be here right so as you can see it's that one mailchimp for woocommerce I already have uh, installed this plugin so you just install it and activate it when you start and activate it, you go back to your WooCommerce, which is here in menu, right? And then you go to a section say Mailchimp, right? And here is simple as connect three steps. It's just connect to account. We already create one, so we just need to connect the account, right? As soon as you click, a pop-ups come up. And here what you need to do is the user and password that you already use in uh, Mailchimp, right? So you add your uh, information and then log in. Right, so here what we do is authorize Mailchimp for WooCommerce and allows to get all this data and then we just click here, allow, and that it will synchronize um, WooCommerce with Mailchimp. Now it's connecting, please wait. Okay, so this information it comes from uh, Mailchimp, right? So here what it is, is the name of the store, information about the business, right? And then what is the um, what we detected that you WooCommerce? What is the location of this uh, store? Which is pretty good. The permissions here as well. So who has the permission, right? So you can sit, set this up, right? And then go to next step. Step here is where we set up the audience settings, right? And in here is a little bit of information about the audience. That it comes from Mailchimp already, audience name. So that is the test business that we already create or already create, it's been creating Mailchimp, right? The audience default. So here it will be from the name. All the information can be added from email, right? Subject, the information language as well permission remind message if you want to add any message and here is the synchronous settings right so if you want to uh, auto subscribe all the customers right or you want to do uh, when the customer is like checkbox the the subscribe uh, letter for membership right so here's all these options that I really recommend maybe to you know synchronize all the information with the customer so you can track and have more data and then here's the card tracking so it will be information about if the if your customer is going through your car checkout right and visible in the check in by default yes and that is all good here if you want to add tags for your audience right 
So for instance, say that if they're going here, you can say customers on the checkout or customers on the, on the shop, right? On the store, product image sites, that's fine. And then once it's done, right? So we just need to go to this button and say start synchronization. So we're gonna connect the customers, right? Through uh, MailShip and then we're gonna synchronize all the information. All right, so as you can see here, the synchronization status star, uh, is in progress. So in that moment, what it's doing is synchronize all the information from WooCommerce to MailShip, right? And that is in progress. And here, as you can see, let's gonna go through all this overview. You can find coupons, products, orders, subscribers, you know, all the information it will be here. Um, even if you can see it resynchronized now in case that the synchronization because right now it's doing in progress but you can manually do it here right the store information it will be on the in here in this section audience here on audience is where you can stop imagine that you want to create a different audience right so you can probably stop the synchronization and create a different audience right and do it here that if you want uh, logs, that's the logs information and the settings, right? So here is if you want to disconnect the store, right? So probably what we need to do one more step is make sure that this is being synchronized with MailShip as well. And as you can see right now, this shop or the store is connected, right? Okay, so please let me know if you have any questions in the comments below, like and subscribe this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.